Hey guys, welcome to a day in a life of a surgery intern. In this video, I'm going to show you how a 24 to 30 hour emergency duty looks like at the Department of Surgery at LTMMC Mumbai. It's my first emergency today and I'm scared but excited as hell. So I reach college at around 9am and I visit the outpatient department where the residents and professors discuss and see a few cases and as an intern you send out investigations for the patients. After that I go to the casualty surgical room which is called the CSR and we wait there for the patient to come into an emergency. So the usual patients there we see are of abdominal pain, renal colic, burns, accidents and stuff like that. And as an intern we collect their blood and we send out investigations. At 2pm I take a small break uh, which is chai and biscuits and I think that is my lunch. After that I was called to the emergency radio because I had to take a patient for a CT scan of the brain. This patient has a history of trauma to his head and you can see a small bleed in the parenchyma of his brain. Uh, these patients are usually admitted to the E ward or the trauma ward and as an intern you have to accompany the patient from the trauma ward to the emergency radio department. I sit in the E ward for a few hours, uh, collect their blood, send out investigations, attach foleys and riles. And after that I was gifted a small ice cream from my residents. It is evening by now and it is raining heavily and I'm happy that there are less patients coming in because of that. This is followed by my lunch at 10 p.m. and you can see an empty canteen here. After that, I go to the emergency operation theater to help out with a few patients there. So I get changed into my OT scrubs and uh, follow my resident. So this is the septic operation theater and the usual cases we see here are of diabetic foot infected wounds and as a treatment for them we usually do debridement and um, sometimes an amputation. I assist in a few cases here and I'm very happy. Following that my residents call me for a small break and a small treat from them. I helped with a few more septic operation theater cases, helped with a few more dressings and helped with a few more blood collections. Following that, I take a small break and go out for a walk with my best friends from the other departments that is the emergency pediatric and the emergency medicine. So we discuss a few patients we saw and how much blood did we collect from the patients. So I was called again to help in the operation theatre and I assisted in one more surgery. It's the middle of the night by now and I am absolutely tired but I still pull through and go back to the casualty surgical room and see a few more patients there. There I meet Pratik surrounded by a lot of children and helping the resident with the cases. Oh, hello. I am taking a video. Why are you taking a video? Hi guys. So it's our, um, what are? What are? Is it 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? 13, sorry. 1, 2, 13. I am counting hours and I forgot to count. Okay, so almost like 12, 13 hours we have been here. Mm -hmm. And I have done so many things today. So I did um, two like hand release. I don't know what it's called. Like, pura oh. edema hota na hatte. So, I just got out of the pus basically, oh. that I did. I did one full toe amputation. Fuck, I saw amputation for the first time. It was very bad, yaar. I mean, I had to take a lot of sutures and I helped in that also. So, it was nice. And then, the rest of the bread was also all diabetic pussy foots and legs. Damn. Damn. Yeah. But it was a good day because I did stuff. It's not that bad. I thought I'd warm it and something, but I did not. So that's a good start, na? <laughs> Seeing pus oozing out. No, that yeah. is some pimple popping videos are nice. Unka pus aasa lagta hai. But it didn't hurt aasa. I said too much. And now my hand is paining. Okay, you now catch. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, okay. So now we have free time. 
and this yeah. stupid person did not take any videos. Yeah. So man. there is no feeds, emergency videos for you. Just surgery. Ah, <laughs> because there is nothing. I mean, I saw you patients, surrounded yeah. by children. Yeah, but there, there were no procedures. There can be huge pictures so. of children and babies. Yeah, but I am not supposed to show them, right? Yeah, whatever. Whatever you say. Yeah. Yeah, so now we have like 2-3 hours of free time. I don't know how yeah. is this possible. But yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna sleep for like 2 hours. Bye then. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. You, you, you gotta say something. No, I didn't do a lot. I just did a few blood collections. Of pigs, which sad. is which is a huge thing because yeah. in pediatric population, it's kids, it's, they, yeah, cry. they cry. And, they're like little, little and they have veins. these small mm-hmm. veins. That Though you I don't did get. one page of blood collection. It's ka aadha kuna aur fir aaye nikse nikle. Ah, see aadha. Cut ka kuch ekam. So, wo kia successfully. But फिर इतना एक्साइट हो गया कि थोड़ा ज़्यादा ब्लड ले लिया मैंने इतना चाहिए भी नहीं था मेरे को सर ने बोला था कि इसका सीबी सी भेजना है बट मेरे दिमाग में ओला था तो मैंने मस्त इसको टेन सी सी भेज दिया फिर टेन सी सी नहीं टेन नहीं और ठीक फाइव और सिक्स सी सी सो बट उसका इतना ब्लड ले लिया एंड देन जब सीरी वो जो सी बी सी वाले सुना तो इतना डाला वो बचा हुआ था उसमें उसने देखा वो एनी वेज लाइक इतना ब्लड ले लिया मेरा और लो पॉइंट इन माई डे डेम So I go back to the surgery ward that is the ward 16 and ward 23 and take a small nap of one and a half hour there because I know there's a long morning coming ahead of me. This is what you can see at 6.30 am, the ruins of the previous day. I was given a post emerge blood collection list that is never ending so i go to the ward and start collecting some blood um so around 15 to 20 patients get admitted after an emergency in surgery and as you can see i start gathering all the vacutainers i can to collect their blood the investigations we send are the complete blood count their rft the lft the serum electrolytes and also the ptinr we collect the blood, fill out the pathoforms and send it to the central lab. It's like my third or fourth day since I started collecting blood from the patients and I think I have mastered the art of it. This is probably like the 11th or 12th patient since the morning but I pulled through. I collect the blood from the patients and fill them in the various vacutainers. As you can see the red one I am holding, it is usually out to send liver function test, kidney function tests and also various other tests like blood grouping and cross matching. You can see the various colored vacutainers here and this is the table where I spend most of my time with. I meet my best friend from the ward, Mr. Kato. He's the sweetest. He accompanies me to every patient's bed and helps me through the day. Some more blood collections and some more pathoforms. And some more blood collections. Following that, at around 11 a.m., the teachers, professors and the residents arrive for the grand rounds. And we usually go from ward to ward where the residents present the cases to the HOU, which is the head of the unit and the professors. After that, I was sent out with a patient to the radiology department to do a pigtailing and uh, an echo of another patient. At last, I sit here in the endoscopy room waiting for the resident to come so I can ask the permission to go home for the day. <laughs> 